and welcome to the Gaston County Schools Evening of Excellence Ceremony presented by Wells Fargo Bank. I am Todd Hagens from the Gaston County Schools Communications Department, and it is a pleasure to be with you this evening for tonight's program, which honors outstanding educators. At this time, I would like to introduce Reggie Gaither, who will offer our official welcome from Wells Fargo Bank. Thank you, Todd. Well, good evening and welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to be part of this excellent event once again. Wells Fargo simply has a passion for education. What you do every day for young people is important to our community. Last year, Wells Fargo donated over $275 million, and of that, over $81 million went to 8,000 educational programs in schools across our nation. Last year, some of you may recall, I mentioned that both my wife and my mom were once teachers. Well, I failed to mention my father's teaching experience. After retiring from IBM, he tried uh, teaching at the middle school level. Needless to say, he left with increased respect for what my mom, <laughs> wife, and all of you do every day. And my mom has reminded him of this fact often. It's challenging and it takes hard work and sacrifices, but it's truly worth it. I can remember certain teachers that motivated me and encouraged me to do, to do better and to be my best. I even remember specific conversations. My former teachers don't know this, but some of these memories I still reflect on today, and they helped shape me into the man I am today. So please continue your hard work on the young minds you influence. You are truly appreciated and valued, and this evening of excellence is for you to celebrate your efforts and your passion to educate and motivate the next generation. Thank you for allowing us at Wells Fargo to be a part. To offer greetings on behalf of the Gaston County Board of Education, please welcome our Board of Education Chairman, Mr. Kenneth Lutz, Jr. I would like to thank everyone for coming this evening, and I uh, have a, some school board members here tonight, and I'd like to introduce them uh, before I get started. Uh, I have Jeff Ramsey. Mark Stevens. Dot Guthrie. and Mark Upchurch. Good evening, and on behalf of the Board of Education, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the Gaston Country Club for our annual evening of excellence ceremony. We look forward to this program each year because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate, to recognize, and to salute our most outstanding employees across the Gaston County schools. The Board of Education is very proud of for of each one, very proud of each one of you uh, teaching and administrating in our school system. We know that you go an extra mile because if you hadn't gone an extra mile every day of the week, you wouldn't be here tonight. I also would like to personally thank Wells Fargo Bank for sponsoring this event. Wells Fargo is a valuable business partner and we appreciate Wells Fargo willingness to support the education programs in Gaston County. Year after year, we know that we can count on Wells Fargo when it comes time to support our educational program. And to all the nominees tonight, congratulations to each one of you. There are no losers in this group. I know that everyone is gonna be anxious until we make the final decision and they know who's gonna be the finalist and who's gonna get the award. But truly, there are no losers in this group. Every one of you are winners in the eyes of everyone at Gaston County and the Board of Education. So thank you and enjoy your evening.
It is a pleasure to welcome now our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. W. Jeffrey Booker. Thank you, Todd. Before I start, I'd like to pause for a minute because you're going to notice something different if you've been to this award before. Where's Dr. Tuttero? Stand up, Dr. Tuttero. Everyone needs to recognize when Dr. Tuttero joined our organization, this event took off. And he has spent the majority of his career here making sure that this is our premier event every year. And we need to just pause and recognize all that he has done. And Beth Sleever's back there saying, I did a little bit too. <laughs> It takes a team to do it all, and human resources really leads this. You know, we, Mr. Lutz just mentioned Wells Fargo. We don't operate as a school system without great partners, and Wells Fargo is a premier partner. And so Wells Fargo steps up and writes this check for each of us to be here and have a truly first-class event to match the first-class people that are here. And so, Reggie, your day may have only lasted a day in middle school, but you're okay with this. <laughs> and uh, I had a lot of words here that Todd wanted me to say, but I recognize food is on the table and everybody's ready to eat and we got an invocation to get to. But you know, it's proper that we're here today on Tuesday. Because what is today? Yeah, everybody's grabbing for their pen. It's, it, come on, Judy. What, Judy? What is today? Oh. Yeah, well, that's not why it's good to be here today. Why it's good to be here is today is National Teacher Day, and it's Teacher Appreciation Week. But today is National Teacher Appreciation Day, and we have teachers being recognized. We have administrators being recognized, and it's great that we all pause for a week to give credit to people who make a difference in our lives every day of every year of our lives. And so I thank each of you for what you do and for what you deliver, because recognize there are 3,700 people that make school system work. They're supported by nine people who have the courage to run for election and vote and take care of our school system. You know, they were with me till almost 10 o'clock last night and turned around and are back out tonight. and. <laughs> A couple of them with me this morning, so they give a tireless effort. So I'd like to recognize our board again for all the work that they do. So I said to the board last night, the good teacher explains, the great teacher inspires. Thank you for inspiring me every day to get up and go to work in the best organization in this community. At this time, it is a pleasure to welcome and introduce the current Gaston County Teacher of the Year for Special Remarks. From Pinewood Elementary School, please welcome Rebecca O'Brien. Good evening. Once upon a time, and being an elementary school teacher, all good stories start with once upon a time. Um, I worked at Disney World as part of the college program, and in that I took a series of business classes. And um, in those business classes, I actually had an opportunity to interview the president of the Magic Kingdom at the time. And I asked him a series of uh, questions, but my last question to him was, what words of wisdom would you give me to go forth in this business world? His answer is one that I've always remembered, and I've sort of always kind of taken to heart. He said, always act ethically and know what you want your legacy to be. Make decisions that create that. He went on to explain that everyone will leave a legacy. There's no way to avoid that. The question becomes, what will my legacy be? When I decided to go into education, I wanted to make sure that the legacy I created is one that I'd be proud of. One of my favorite speakers said, we would do well to slow down a little, focus on the significant, lift up our eyes, and truly see the things that matter most. 
I think we sometimes get so caught up in all of the going ons, all the paperwork, all the testing, all the this is and all the that's, that sometimes we forget in the grand scheme of things what matters the most, and that's the children that we teach. Our students of Gaston County are so valuable. The child who comes from nothing, the child that seems to have everything. The child that is good at math, the child that thinks math is a foreign language. The child that never wants to read and the child that always wants to read. The child who gets in trouble daily, the child that wants it still. The child who feels bullied to the child that is the bully. They all matter. And that is what I wanted my legacy to be that no matter what set of issues, home life, ability, disability, whatever they brought with them, they mattered and I was gonna teach them regardless of that. It sounds so simple and yet it's not. In this profession, I see a whole lot of people worry about things that don't really matter. Our system has seen a lot of change this school year. We have seen a lot of people re who retire, <coughs> who were not only colleagues, but friends that have endeared themselves to employees and parents alike from the very top of our leadership, to welcoming Mr. Booker in his new role as superintendent, to principals, communication peoples, even teachers. We might all do well to take a moment tonight and reflect on the things that we'll be remembered by. What will be our legacy? Will it be the things that mattered the most or the things that didn't matter at all? We are here tonight to celebrate the excellence that is Gaston County Schools, and I want to congratulate all the teachers who are here tonight. You truly are a remarkable group of individuals who care deeply for our students, and everyone deserves to be celebrated and to have a teacher like you in their classroom. You are leaving a lasting legacy in the children you affect daily. So thank you, congratulations, and enjoy your evening. At this time, we would like to recognize several special guests and the selection committees. First, we would like to recognize the 2013 New Teacher of the Year from Mount Holly Middle School, Chad Milner. Our 2013 Teacher Assistant of the Year, Judy Malden from Linkerfeld Elementary, could not be with us tonight. Members of the Selection Committee, when I call your name, if you'll please stand. The Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, Lorinda Brucey, Diane Gibson, Rebecca O'Brien, Terry Ussery, and Julian Wilson. The Principal of the Year Selection Committee, Dixie Abernathy, Mark Holler, Rebecca O'Brien, Torben Ross, and Terry Ussery. The Assistant Principal of the Year Selection Committee, Cynthia Howell, Risa Hoyle, Jill Payne, and Jennifer Polson. The Central Office Administrator of the Year Selection Committee, mm -hmm. Marilyn Dedman, Cynthia Howe, Judy Leahy, and Terry Usry. Let's have a round of applause for all of you. <laughs> we have a number of former Gaston County Teachers of the Year with us this evening. We would like to introduce them. First, Dr. Dixie Abernathy, the Gaston County Teacher of the Year 1991 and the North Carolina Teacher of the Year 1992. Chrissy Sis, Gaston County Teacher of the Year 2000-2001. Beth Super, Gaston County Teacher of the Year 2007 and Southwest Regional Finalist. Julian Wilson, Gaston County uh, Teacher of the Year 2012 and a finalist for North Carolina Teacher of the Year. And of course, our very own Rebecca O'Brien, Gaston County Teacher of the Year 2013. We have several former Principals of the Year with us. Cindy Hester, 2006. Paige Carver, 2008, Audrey Devine, 2009, James Montgomery, 2011, Torben Ross, 2012, and Terry Ussery, 2013. Let's have a round of applause for all of these. We are ready for the recognition of our Area Employees of the Year. And I'm going to ask if Mr. Booker and Mr. Lutz, if you will come forward. We will present awards to these employees. First, we have the Gaston County Schools Counselor, School Counselor of the Year. She is Karen Bunch. Karen is a counselor at Hunter Huss High School.
Next, we have the Gaston County Schools Library Media Coordinator of the Year. Please welcome Terry Hoyle. Terry is the Media Coordinator at John Chavis Middle School. Next is the Gaston County Schools Social Worker of the Year. She is Rosalind White. Rosalind serves as the, as the social worker at Cherville High School. Our next honoree is the Gaston County Schools Psychologist of the Year. She is Heidi Jagilski. Heidi serves many of our schools and students from her home location at the Department of Exceptional Children. And our Gaston County Schools Nurse of the Year, she is Kathy Leinberger. Kathy serves the students at North Gaston High School. Congratulations to all of our Area Employees of the Year. Next on our program is the presentation of the finalist for Assistant Principal of the Year. And uh, we're going to ask Jill Payne to come forward. She was our Assistant Principal of the Year award winner last year. And as Jill uh, comes forward, she will announce each finalist for this award. And we will ask that the finalists to please come forward and stand here on stage as Ms. Payne shares many accolades about each finalist. Please welcome Jill Payne. It is with great pleasure, pleasure that I introduce to you the finalists for the Gaston County Schools Assistant Principal of the Year. First, I'd like to call Kevin Doran, Assistant Principal at Forest View High School. Assistant Principal Kevin Doran sees himself as being a support, a support for his teachers. He prides himself on keeping his sense of humor, all the while showing teachers he is on their side and there to help them. Principal Chad Carper admires his attention to building positive relationships with students and faculty and feels this is what sets him apart from others. Mr. Doran works hard to make sure the freshmen transition easily into the high school environment. A Forest View teacher said, Mr. Dorn has developed and maintained good working relationships with both staff and students. In the area of student discipline, he has continually shown himself to be fair and consistent. A parent stated, Mr. Dorn exhibits everything that a parent could want in an assistant principal. Congratulations, Kevin Dorn, finalist for Gaston County Assistant Principal of the Year. Now I'd like to call Kelly Howell, Assistant Principal, Ashbrook High School. Kelly hopes teachers at Ashbrook describe her as dependable, energetic, approachable, and easy to talk to. Her principal, Joey Clinton, describes Kelly as altruistic because every decision she makes is student-centered. Ashbrook has seen an increase in the graduation rate every year for the past five years, which Mr. Clinton attributes to the unceasing efforts of Ms. Howell. Parents credit her with helping their children make decisions about their academic futures, both at Ashbrook and beyond. She truly cares about the success of every student and reaches out to those in need, stated one parent. Another said, I have to say, my goal was to get my kids to the next level, and this was done with the help of Ms. Howell. I can only imagine the amount of kids and parents she has helped and is helping. Congratulations, Kelly Howe, finalist for Gaston County Assistant Principal of the Year. And this time, Jenny Johnson, Assistant Principal, Chapel Grove Elementary.
When asked how teachers in her building would describe her as a leader, Jenny believes they would respond as a Google Forms geek. <laughs> Someone who helps them become more efficient, a real and an honest person. Principal Roxanne Jemison admires Ms. Johnson's work ethic and exceptional performance. Her experience, quality, and strength have earned her great respect among our school community and have made her a significant part of our success, states Ms. Robbins, I mean Ms. Jemison. The Chapel Grove School Improvement Team said, Ms. Johnson cares about students' academic success as well as their safety and continuously looks to improve both. One parent wrote, you can definitely tell Ms. Johnson loves working with children and we love her working at Chapel Grove Elementary School. Congratulations, Jenny Johnson, Gaston, finalist for Gaston County Assistant Principal of the Year. <laughs> Gina Stywalt, Assistant Principal at New Hope Elementary School. Gina describes herself as organized, caring, concerned, and focused on children. Teachers at New Hope say Ms. Stywalt greets students at the front door each morning, never forgetting to ask about ball games, homework assignments, or other events that are important in that child's life. Principal Alan Lewis admires how she has tackled and led Read to Achieve, Champs, and M Class and Dibbles initiatives this year, helping calm teachers during that time of uncertainty and change. One parent at New Hope stated, Ms. Stywalt is a jack of all trades. She personifies the dedication, commitment, loyalty, knowledge, and compassion that any administrator should possess. She is a pillar to the New Hope Elementary community. Congratulations, Gina Stywalt, finalist for Gaston County Assistant Principal of the Year. Cindy Strapp, Assistant Principal, Lowell Elementary School. As a leader in her school, Cindy Strapp pr prides herself on being available. She is available to listen, to share, to interpret data, and to be a source of enthusiasm for students and staff. Her principal, Juanita Knight, describes her as thoughtful, loyal, a hard worker who thinks outside of the box. Teachers at Lowell are extremely appreciative of the Cub Pride Club started by Ms. Strapp, which recognizes students for achievement, citizenship, and good attendance. They believe this program is essential to encouraging best efforts in students. Staff members at Lowell also attribute smooth transitions with PLCs, Common Core, and MTSS due to Ms. Strapp's assistance. She is a well-respected professional who routinely goes above and beyond the call of duty. Congratulations, Cindy Strapp, finalist for Gaston County Assistant Principal of the Year. And the 2014-2015 Assistant Principal of the Year, Gina Stywell. honor to God who led me into education as a freshman in college. Thank you so much to Gaston County Schools and the Board of Education for giving me this wonderful opportunity to serve as an assistant principal and also the staff at New Hope Elementary who nominated me for this prestigious award. I am so honored to have been selected from the pool of nominees. Each individual nominated is highly qualified not only in their skill as an assistant principal but also with the heart that they have for the staff the students and the parents that they loyally serve each and every day. I am a proud graduate of Bessemer City High School. When I look back on my past teachers, I am so thankful for those teachers who saw more in me than I did in myself. The individuals who challenged me to work harder, dig deeper, have a dream for my future, and never give up until that dream was met. It was by their modeling that I learned that every child is a story that is waiting to be told. My job is to help instill the power of education in each and every student to help them overcome their personal obstacles and help them understand how, value, how invaluable their individual lives are. I count it a privilege and an honor 
to be able to work with an outstanding staff, amazing students, and supportive and involved parents. Thank you so much to my husband, Scott, who does a great job keeping me balanced. He helps me delicately balance my commitments to my family with my commitments to my school. To my mother-in-law, who is not here, but Linda Stywalt, who many of you know, who served faithfully and lovingly for Gaston County Schools for 38 years. As a young teacher, I had the opportunity to work with her my first year teaching, and she instilled in me two key principles that a textbook would have never taught me. The first is that students don't care about what you know until they know that you care about them. Secondly, if you believe in each child's ability to learn, and they will do great things out of your belief for them and their love that they have for you. To Alan Lewis, my principal, who always appreciates all the jobs that I do, he allows me to utilize my strengths and trust my decision-making abilities. Your support as a principal has allowed me to grow as an administrator. In closing, one of my favorite quotes is by the author Max Lucado, and it says, you are not an accident, you were not mass produced, you aren't an assembly line product. You are deliberately planned, specifically gifted, and lovingly positioned on this earth by the master craftsman. As educators, we were not placed in this job by accident. God placed us here to shape and mold each student to leave our schools better equipped before they entered our building. Let us not take for granted the roles that we play in every student's future. Thank you again for the opportunity um, to serve and recognizing me as the Assistant Principal of the Year. Thank you. To present the finalist for Central Office Administrator of the Year, please welcome last year's award recipient, Judy Leahy. Notice the upgrade? It's been an upgrade. Good evening, Chairman Lutz, board members, Superintendent Booker, distinguished guests. It is my honor and privilege to pass the crown tonight for Central Office Administrator of the Year. As you can see, there's been an upgrade in the crown. It used to be cardboard. <laughs> this evening is about excellence. Excellence isn't a skill or just having talent. It's what you do with the talent that matters. Excellence is an attitude, passion, and giving your 100% in all you do. I am delighted to be able to introduce five distinguished nominees this evening for Central Office Administrator of the Year, who truly epitomize excellence. All of them are highly successful, dedicated, and motivated professionals. As I call your name, please come forward so we can see excellence. And in alphabetical order, may I present Chris Hall. Chris Hall works in the Technology Support Service Department as the Administrative Technology Manager. He is responsible for new and ongoing district projects and initiatives, which involves collaborating with stakeholders and colleagues throughout the district to research, plan, and implement new technologies to support the district's vision and mission. Chris is punctual, thorough, and collaborative, as demonstrated with his most recent project implementing identity management in all our schools and buildings. In his words, this was a great product of pride for the TSS department to be able to protect our students and staff. Implementing the identity management system involved a year-long process and an especially important one because of the potential to keep all of our students and employees safe. As Chris states, never has it been more important to use technology than it is now, especially to help keep our students stay safe. I agree, Chris. Please join me in recognizing Chris Hall. Risa Hoyle.
Risa Hoyle works in the Curriculum and Instruction Department as the Director of AIG, ESL, and World Languages. She oversees the Academically and Intellectually Gifted Program, the English as a Second Language Program, World Language Programs, as well as the International Center. Her responsibilities include providing leadership, support, and resources for the teachers and staff of these departments, while also serving as the liaison between administrators, teachers, counselors, and parents. Risa strives to ensure that our diverse body of students' needs are met in the classroom every day by supporting teachers and providing them with differentiated academic materials to ensure student success. Efficient, organized, and supportive are just a few of the adjectives to describe Risa Hoyle. Risa wants her legacy to be a person who made a positive impact along the way for students and adults, somebody who made us feel good about what we do every day. Thank you, Risa. You already do this every day. Please join me in recognizing Risa Hoyle. Susan Neely. She knows we're going in alphabetical order. <laughs> Susan Neely. Oh, okay. You okay? Yeah, okay? Hold my hand. I'm good. Susan Neely works in the Student Support Services Department as the Director of Health Services. She is committed to ensuring school nurses empower students, families, educators, and the community by providing prevention, early detection, intervent and intervention for health issues, and by providing health education services. Susan's ultimate goal is to see a full-time nurse for every school. I swear my cry, Susan, you know that, because I love you. I love everybody, but she got me for this one. You're, you have not, her motto summarizes this goal succinctly, every child who has a need has a nurse. Another saying Susan believes in is, you have not because you ask not. Susan works, everybody knows that, Susan works collaboratively in the community to continuously expand the number of nurses available in our schools. And while she was out in the community, guess what? She asked. She asked Caramont Regional Medical Center and the Gaston County Health and Human Services Department if they were able to provide additional nurses to our schools. Thanks to Susan's efforts and our generous community partners, Gaston County Schools had three additional nurses on staff this year. Thank you, Susan. Please join me in recognizing Susan Neely. Tom and Sadie. Tom works in the communications department as the program manager of Channel 21 and is responsible for the engineering and operation of the district's cable access television station. As part of this responsibility, Tom directs the live telecast of the Board of Education meetings and produces video programs for broadcast on Channel 21. As you all know, the live telecast of our Board of Education meetings is new, and he is very proud of this accomplishment because he feels the public is now obtaining accurate and direct information. Flexible, easygoing, and detailed are just a few of the words that describe Tom. He has a philosophy of working hard and having fun, and does so as his job takes him all over the district as he also supports the district's website, publications, special and special events with technical support, photography, and videography. Through his travel, Tom says, I get to see the very best of what our school system offers, and we are great. Thank you, Tom. Please join me in recognizing Tom Nancetti. Frida Tate. Hey, Frida. Frida works in the Technology Support Services Department as application support. The majority of Frida's job includes getting people adjusted to doing things differently in technology. In her position as application support, she collaborates with the technology department and school district personnel to resolve email and application needs. She provides daily continuous service to end users to ensure access so that employees and students may effectively and efficiently do their jobs. Frida states, everything changes all the time with technology. 
My role is to provide the support so people have success with new technology transitions. A few years ago, the Technology Support Services Department did a book study on the seven habits of highly successful people by Stephen Covey. She revealed in her interview, the book study helped me to see things in a different way. Our jobs are still about getting the job done, but taking care of people is priority one. Thank you, Frida, for being reliable, conscientious, and tenacious, and for being a great teacher who continuously helps us transition effectively with technology. Please help me, please help join me in recognizing Frida Tate. Goodness, there was no envelope. Okay. <laughs> That's a bad thing. And the winner is Risa Hoyle. you as we thought through this process from the moment 22 years ago when Johnny Biles hired me at Gastonia Central Elementary as a brand new classroom teacher I've been committed to Gaston County Schools and over the years I've had the distinct honor and privilege to work alongside great educators to work for great principals and to work with great leaders I've had the best mentors in Gaston County Schools you could ask for they were patient and kind and insightful and very direct when necessary and now I get to lead two staffs who work hard every single day to make a positive impact on the lives of students they are extremely supportive of Gaston County Schools and they are extremely supportive of me and I couldn't be more lucky so to the Central Office Administrator of the Year Selection Committee to the teachers on my staff to my supervisors to my teammates in the instruction department and throughout Gaston County Schools, it is an honor and a privilege to work with you every day. Thank you all for helping me do a job I love. Thank you. Next is the Wells Fargo Gaston County Principal of the Year. To present the finalist for Principal of the Year, we have last year's honoree, Terry Ussery from Tryon Elementary School. The presentation of the award, that will come from Ellen Waddell, representing Wells Fargo Bank. Please welcome Terry Ussery. Good evening, everyone. He failed to mention that I'm the principal at the perfect place to learn. <laughs> I'm delighted to have this honor to be able to present to you tonight the finalist for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. I would like first for Christy Bostic, the principal at East Gaston High School, to come forward to the podium. Principal Christy Bostic is incredibly proud of her warrior staff for the many ways that they're providing new social and learning opportunities for East Gaston students. She's pleased by the wide variety of course offerings they now provide, as well as how much they have increased global awareness through a global PLC and an increased focus on other countries each Monday. Dr. Bostic insists that failure is not an option when it comes to educating students and she would like to see a transition to personalized education plans that addresses the learning styles of each and every student. She hopes that when her educational career comes to a close, her legacy will be that she made an impact on the lives of others. 
Congratulations, Christy Bostic, finalist, Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. <laughs> Todd Dellinger, Principal, Brookside Elementary School. As Todd Dellinger walks through the halls of Brookside Elementary, he loves to see students engaged in their learning, discussing what they're doing or arguing over a math solution. He tries to keep morale high in the building by greeting teachers and students every morning and setting a positive tone for the day. He says he encourages teachers to focus on how we handle what we control. A Brookside student recently submitted a persuasive writing assignment about Mr. Dellinger where he wrote, Dear Mr. Dellinger, could you stay at Brookside? You make the announcements awesome. It's always a good day with you in the building. Congratulations, Todd Dellinger. Rebecca Duncan, Principal Edward D. Sadler, Jr. Elementary School. <laughs> Becky Duncan is proud of so many things going on at Sadler this year, from test scores that exceeded state growth to the technology students and teachers use regularly to enhance teaching and learning. She and her staff have worked diligently to increase communication with parents and community members to build a sustained commitment to educating children. As the instructional leader in her building, Ms. Duncan is open to new ideas and looks to enhance the strengths of staff by encouraging collaboration and sharing. She hopes her legacy in education will be that she truly cared about kids and staff. Congratulations, Rebecca Duncan, finalist for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. <laughs> T.C. Dunlap, Principal Webb Street School. Anyone who knows T.C. Dunlap knows where his heart truly lies with all of his students at Webb Street School. He is extremely proud of their 100% graduation rate with 12 students in the 2014 graduating class next month. As the instructional leader in his building, Mr. Dunlap seeks ways to build awareness of what Common Core is and how to reach each student during its implementation. He maintains morale by sending teachers to conferences and celebrating their successes during fun events. When all is said and done, TC hopes that it will be said he was committed to education, did what was best for students, staff, and parents, but above all else, he hopes to always project a positive perception of Webb Street School. Congratulations, TC Dunlap, finalist for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. <laughs> Derek Jackson, Principal, Cherville High School. When you ask Mr. Jackson a point of pride this year at his school, he is eager to tell you about how hard staff and students have worked to help seniors graduate and the recognition that they have received as a bronze medal school. He encourages students to continue the tradition of being Ironmen, and he insists that Cherville High will never accept uh, not learning as an answer. Mr. Jackson says he doesn't worry about who gets credit for successes in his school, and he hopes his legacy will be that he has shown others how education levels the playing field for everyone. 
Congratulations, Derek Jackson, finalist for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. Rebecca Wilson, Principal Bessemer City Middle School. When Rebecca Wilson has visitors in her building, she relishes the opportunity to share the historical aspects that make Bessemer City Middle School so unique. She's extremely proud of the positive behavior intervention support system her staff has successfully implemented this academic year. As the instructional leader in her building, Dr. Wilson strives to listen to her teachers and the specific needs that they have for time, funding, and materials to meet the learning needs of students. She maintains teacher morale by infusing lots of laughter in the academic day and looking to take over tasks from her staff in order to lighten their load. She hopes her legacy will be children who know she loved them and pushed them to reach their highest potential. Congratulations, Rebecca Wilson, finalist for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. It's hard to follow Mr. Ussery, but this is exciting. <laughs> this year's Wells Fargo Principal of the Year is dedicated to the children of Gasson County and an advocate for public education. This principal never hesitates to look for new ways to do things and encourages staff members to think outside the box. The Principal of the Year understands the importance of recruiting, hiring, and retaining the best teachers and constantly considers ways to show staff members just how appreciated they are. This principal works diligently to better the academic environment by involving parents and seeking ways to make relevant changes that positively impact student learning. The principal of the year is committed to making a positive impact on the lives of students and measures personal success by their academic progress and feelings of acceptance in their school environment. This principle encourages lifelong learning by serving as a role model others may follow. The principle of the year strives to build strong relationships between school and community with the goal of leading all to make educating our children top priority. This principal expects nothing less than the best when it comes to self, students, faculty, and staff. The principal of the year leads by example and is a role model of professionalism and ethical practice. Wells Fargo is pleased to present the 2013-2014 Principal of the Year Award to Rebecca Duncan. surprised tonight or the afternoon that I got the phone call from Beth Suber. She says, hey Becky, I need to talk to you about something. That was not why I thought she was calling me. She says, I have to give you some good news. Well, you guys know you don't typically get good news from HR. So thank you, Beth. <clears throat> um, I, I do not have an eloquent speech like Regina Stywalt. This is what I have. <laughs> I had all kinds of plans to leave work at 4 o'clock and work on a speech, but Mr. Freddie was out today. So um, I'll tell you a few highlights. I am a product of Gaston County Schools, and I think I'm going to cry. Uh -oh, from Warlick Elementary School all the way to Holbrook to North Gaston. So 18 years of serving Gaston County Schools. 
I wouldn't trade it for anything. I tell my husband every day, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> I have been so blessed from starting my teaching career at Gast Gastonia Central. Um, that was the year that the school was closing. They had not guaranteed us a job. So in May, they said, oh, by the way, we're going to give you a transfer. So we were all so excited because there's about 18 of 21 brand new teachers there. So I asked to go to Woodhill. So I spent the next eight years at Woodhill, and I loved every minute of it and would probably still be there if I had not decided to become an administrator. I look around the room and I see so many people who have helped me along the way. And it is fantastic to be able to have that kind of support in our school system. The thing that, um, that I think makes the biggest difference to me, and I shared this in my principal interview, you have to have a relationship with your students. In my interview, I shared that I had a student to send me a message on Facebook last summer. She was in my third grade class my first year at Woodhill. Anyway, she went on to say that she had graduated from college with a sociology degree, that she was going to um, become a teacher. And so, you know, in, in the principal world, nobody calls you to tell you you do a good job. You get all kind of complaints and questions and concerns, but you don't get those phone calls. So last Tuesday, I got another email from this student. It says, hi, Ms. Duncan, from a former student. And it pretty much says a lot of the same things she had said earlier, but she asked me if I could be her mentor. So she is coming to see me on Friday. And that's why we all do what we do. We may never get a card or a phone call or an email, but having that relationship and making a difference and inspiring her, that's why I do this every day. Thank you so much. And now for the recognition of our Teachers of the Year for 2013-2014. Ashbrook High School, Bianca Yavalak. Karen Solis, Beam Intermediate. Janice Byers, Beam Intermediate. Kyle Wood, Belmont Central Elementary. Quanah McAllister, Belmont Middle. Amy Tibbet, Bess Elementary. Jennifer Russell, Bessemer City Central Elementary. Ricky Stuck, Bessemer City High School. Emily Mackey, Bessemer City Middle School, finalist Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Lisa Fain, Bessemer City Primary. Emily Thornburg, Brookside Elementary. Katherine Pleschnik, Carr Elementary. Carmen Adams, Catawba Heights Elementary. Carla Endeman, Chapel Grove Elementary finalist, Gaston County Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Vicki Whitfield, John Chavis Middle School. <laughs> Tracy Sparks, Cherville Elementary. Timothy Pruitt, Cherville High School. Heather Green, Costner Elementary. Okay. 
Ashley Kloniger, Stuart W. Kramer High School. Lisa Ratchford from Cramerton Middle could not be with us tonight. Joseph Yavalak, East Gaston High School. Jenny Carper, Forest Heights Elementary. Al Fronneberger, Forest View High School. Stephanie Giolatti from Friday Middle School could not be here tonight. Lisa Burns, Gardner Park Elementary. <laughs> Megan Hibberts, Gaston Early College High School. <laughs> Susan George, Greer Middle School. Kristen Smalley, Hawk's Nest Intermediate. <laughs> Lynn Ham, Highland School of Technology. <laughs> Amy Barnhart, Holbrook Middle School finalist, Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Miriam Harvey, Hunter Huss High School. <laughs> Christy Summy, Kaiser Elementary. <laughs> Caitlin Saniga, Lingerfelt Elementary. <laughs> Diana Baxter, Lowell Elementary. Anna Allen, McCannville Elementary, could not be here tonight. Lynn Myers, Mount Holly Middle School. <laughs> Hannah Young, New Hope Elementary, could not be here tonight, excepting for her principal, Alan Lewis. She went into labor three hours ago. Went into labor three hours ago. Wow. Betsy Robertson, North Belmont Elementary, could not be here tonight. Elizabeth Leonard, North Gaston High School finalist, Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Sarah Williams, Page Primary School. Ashley Smith, Pinewood Elementary. Deborah Monroe, Pleasant Ridge Elementary. Dana Hinkle, Rankin Elementary. Jessica Heath from Ryan Elementary could not be with us tonight. Tammy Holland, Robinson Elementary. Jennifer Kendrick, Sadler Elementary, could not be here tonight. Paris Suttonfield, Sherwood Elementary. <laughs> Tim Hamilton, South Point High School. <laughs> Tonnell Oliphant, Southwest Middle School finalist, Gaston County Teacher of the Year. Ponzi Hyde, Springfield Elementary School. <laughs> Angela Irwin, Stanley Middle School. <laughs> Catherine Herman, Tryon Elementary School. <laughs> Travis Johnson, Warlick Academy. Christina McMillan, Woodhill Elementary. <laughs> Woodhill. 
and Monica Morgan, Yorkchester Middle School. These are our Teachers of the Year for 2013-2014. And now for the recognition of the finalist for the Wells Fargo Gaston County Teacher of the Year, Rebecca O'Brien, and to present this award from Wells Fargo Bank, Ellen Waddell. Our first finalist this year is Amy Barnhart, math teacher, Holbrook Middle School. Why might we need to know how to calculate the volume of an object? In Ms. Barnhart's math class, students consider the skills needed to build an aquarium to scale or even how to figure volume in the grocery store without taking their manipulative blocks along. Her students understand why they need to have strong math skills and know that Ms. Barnhart is there to help them, no matter how long it takes to master a concept. Ms. Barnhart's students say she doesn't get mad when you don't get it. One student stated, Say you don't understand what she's teaching, she'll keep going until you understand. Students describe her as nice, fun, smart, awesome, and fair. One student appreciates how Ms. Barnhart judges students by their attitude rather than their math skills. Another said, I like her better than all my other teachers, just don't tell them. <laughs> Colleagues say Ms. Barnhart is inspiring, fair, strict, up upbeat, and very organized. One said, the kids love her. She treats them with respect. Learning is number one with her. She truly cares. Another said, Ms. Barnhart is from Michigan, and all great things come from Michigan. <laughs> Congratulations, Amy Barnhart, Math uh, Teacher of the Year, Holbrook Middle School. <laughs> Carla Endeman, first grade teacher, Chapel Grove Elementary. Who lives next door to Ms. Endeman? What can we infer about their neighbors with a few key objects found nearby? Ms. Endeman's first graders are wonderful detectives with strong inference skills to not only get the job done, but to bring a creative eye to the evaluation of her neighbor's trash. <laughs> Ms. Endeman's students say she makes the funnest math games and lets us publish books. One student described her as the bestest teacher ever. <laughs> A favorite lesson in her class was Dr. Seuss Day because she made us green eggs and ham and put whiskers on us. One student says Ms. Endeman is the best teacher simply because she loves us. When asked how Ms. Endeman goes above and beyond the call of duty, one of her colleagues stated, Carla knows how to ask the tough questions and say what needs to be said for the good of the school. She is described as innovative and intuit intuitive, proactive and caring. One colleague admires Ms. Endeman because she helps other teachers, especially with students who are low achievers. At workshops, you want to be at her table. Congratulations, Carla Endeman, Teacher of the Year, Chapel Grove Elementary. <laughs> Elizabeth Leonard, science teacher, North Gaston High School. How many sodas do you drink in a day? How does your carbon footprint look? Students at Elizabeth Leonard's AP Environmental Science course can identify the effects of our everyday actions on the planet and consider solutions that will make a difference in the su sustainability of our resources. Uh, students say Ms. Leonard has a passion for teaching. They describe her as outgoing, friendly, energetic, fun, and a great role model. One student says she works with us more and tries to help us understand what we don't know. Miss Leonard meets us where we are. Another stated she loves what she does. You can see it every day. One of the favorite lessons in Miss Leonard's class is volcanoes. Students say she is passionate about it. <laughs> Colleagues say Elizabeth Leonard is, po is a positive person, one who builds relationships and works tirelessly for North Gaston. One said, Miss Leonard is one of the most positive teachers I have ever seen. She is exactly who you want when putting a strong staff together. 
They say the students adore Ms. Leonard. She is persistent at building relationships with students and getting them to open up and communicate. A definite leader, one colleague says, Ms. Leonard is the first person to go to when there's a problem. Congratulations, Elizabeth Leonard, Teacher of the Year, North Gaston High School. <laughs> Emily Mackey, Art Teacher, Bessemer City Middle School. What do you remember about art classes of your youth? Did you make face pots out of clay? Ever heard of a Cholule chandelier? Students in Emily Mackey's art classes at Bessemer City Middle School will eagerly share with you the answers to these questions and many more. From sketching a vegetable still life to planning a clay sculpture, her students have experienced many exciting opportunities in art. Students describe Ms. Mackey as really supportive, nice, fair, and friendly. They like that Ms. Mackey knows what is going on with them and appreciative how she makes learning fun and easy. One student's favorite lesson was working with clay. Another enjoyed painting and mixing colors. Students say Ms. Mackey explains things and makes it really easy to understand. Another says Ms. Mackey is different from other teachers because she is more upbeat and more creative with her assignments. Colleagues can't say enough good things about Ms. Mackey. When asked how she makes a difference at Bessemer City Middle, one colleague responded, she goes out of her way to make sure her class is seen as an academic course. She works to make sure encore classes are advocated for in the same respect. Another said Emily leads by action. She is not so much a talker, but does it and demonstrates the results. There is never in theory with Emily. One commented, she doesn't just create things, she teaches skills. Congratulations, Emily Mackey, Teacher of the Year, Bessemer City Middle School. <laughs> Tonell Oliphant, math teacher, Southwest Middle School. <laughs> If asked if you could accurately and appropriately apply the exponential growth and decay formula to determine the best simple interest, long-term CD, real estate vehicle, and educational investments for your family, if you are an eighth grade algebra student at Southwest Middle School, you certainly can. Students say Mr. O's class um, that he is a hard worker. He pushes us to work harder, but keeping us on pace and our lessons moving. They describe their teacher as swift, intelligent, funny, and good at explaining stuff. One student's favorite lesson this year was on slope. The student explained, Mr. Oliphant explained it really well with our notes. We were quizzed to check that we understood. Another student said that he likes all of the math lessons because we constantly do things that help us learn. A student said, Mr. O pushes us hard. We have to work for our grade, but he helps us get there. Colleagues at Southwest say Mr. Oliphant is energetic, lively, and dedicated. One staff member stated, he relates to all of the students well and tries to be a positive role model. Another said, he is so dedicated to the kids. His mission is to make sure kids excel. His class is always on. Mr. Oliphant is well known for his Roadrunner Pride video, which includes a rap song that asks all Roadrunners to please stand up. Congratulations, Tonell Oliphant, Teacher of the Year, Southwest Middle School. We're getting close. In our effort to recognize outstanding educators and to show our support for public education, Wells Fargo is the proud sponsor of the Teacher of the Year Award in Gaston County. Every year we're pleased to have the opportunity to highlight the achievements of Gaston County teachers and to name one individual Teacher of the Year. This year's Teacher of the Year creates a learning environment that's student-centered, 
Every student feels empowered to learn and succeed. Through differential instruction and problem-based learning, this teacher strives to meet the academic needs of every student on a daily basis. The Teacher of the Year prepares students to be competitive in a global economy by equipping them with the tools and skills needed to solve real world problems now and in the future. As a team player, this teacher goes above and beyond the call of duty to serve students, their school, and the surrounding community through mentoring, tutoring, and volunteerism. The Teacher of the Year is a lifelong learner who constantly strives to obtain knowledge and gain a better understanding of the current trends in education in order to better meet the needs of students. Before I announce, all the finalists tonight receive $250 for use in their classroom or their school or for their personal advancement. The finalists receive, or the winner, of the teacher and the principal of the year will receive an additional thousand dollars. So now, Laura, I'm going to give those back to you. This year's teacher of the year serves as a role model for all educators, demonstrating both professionalism in and out of the classroom. And it's with great pleasure that I announced Gaston County Schools Teacher of the Year for 2013-14, Carla Endeman. I need to get myself together here. I certainly didn't think this was happening tonight. Um, thank you, Beth Stuber, for telling me to prepare just in case. So I did that. Um, I definitely want to take this opportunity to thank everybody in this room for what you do on a daily basis. We are all here, as it's been said before tonight, for the, our love of children and the children in particular in Gaston County. I want to congratulate all the top five nominees. I feel like each and every one of you are deserving of this award tonight. It has been a wonderful experience getting to know you and being part of such an outstanding team. I would like to thank the Gaston County Schools for giving me the opportunity to teach in the best county in North Carolina. Thank you, Chapel Grove Elementary, administration, staff, parents, and students for making me part of their community when I moved down 17 years ago from New York. The past 17 years have been challenging but a rewarding experience for me. I have learned more from the children of this county than I could ever teach them. The students of Gaston County make this a special place to work and I look forward to continuing my career working with the children of Gaston County. Thank you so much, this is such an honor, thank you. is going to be just a little nervous because I'm going off script, but I want everybody in this room that has won one of those apples to stand up. If you've won one of the commissioned apples, I want you to stand up. Dr. Totoro, those are commissioned by Wells Fargo expressly for the educators in North Carolina, and we are thrilled. When I go into a classroom and I see one of those, I know what it means. And so we have, as a community and a corporation, a pride in you that goes beyond measure. So thank you all. Congratulations to all of tonight's award winners. We would like to thank Dr. John Tuttero and Beth Suber for all of their hard work to make this program such a success. 
and we look forward to having our new Teacher of the Year and new Principal of the Year represent us in the regional competition for 2014-2015. And now for our closing remarks, Superintendent Booker. Well, we started off by talking about how excellent this is for all of us. You know, as we were going through, I wrote down some quotes that I think really speak about what Gaston Schools is. We started off hearing about a mentor saying, care about them, believe they can learn, let them know you love them. This is all about taking care of people, someone said. Then Susan. You have not because you ask not. Amen. <laughs> I'm doing a job I love. What I do has an impact on the lives of others. Now, Becky, you challenged me. I want every principal to stand up, please. Do not go home tonight and not hear this. Thank you. If nobody has stopped today to say thank you, it just was done, and I mean it, our board means it, and just stand there for a minute and absorb it. Thank you for this. <laughs> now, I will remind you this is a no recruitment zone. Okay, so, um, <laughs> but you know, you were right to point that out, Becky. We don't stop enough to say thank you. And I hope as we move forward, we'll remember to say thank you to the parents that trust their children with us and to say thank you to our spouses who put up with us. Uh, you know, to Wells Fargo, I, I teased you earlier, but you put your money where your mouth is. And as I see this, together we'll go far. I can promise you, you'll see that money go farther with this group than any other group because they know how to get the most. <laughs> so I'll say again, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this organization. And everyone be safe as you go home because we need you tomorrow.